All right, just give me one moment here. I'm going to share this in a couple spots, and then uh, we're going to uh, continue our adventure. In space. Let's do this. Um, Kotor tip. There we go. Or is someone has played Battlefront called the Kotor, which I never understood. It's probably one of those things that everyone says differently. All right. Um, we're in the Harbinger. I'm gonna load that. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. So the last time, Kreia went to go fight Darth Nihilus, or not Darth Nihilus, um, the other guy, uh, Darth Rockface, I think is his, uh, his official title. We got Atten here with us, very handsome man. Ooh, what's in here? G Gamorian War Axe, all right. I like a good old uh, War Axe. I wonder how that compares to our, uh, oh, another Viper Blade. Some grenades, anything over here? Nope. And then, hold on, before we, let's check, let's check those weapons. Um, so this gives us, some stuff that I barely understand, but. So far, this one's better. Ooh, two to 20, one to 10. Oh yeah, we're gonna put that ax on. And then we pick up a blaster carbine. I bet that's better than, let's see, one to 12. Yeah, that, that one's better. All right, there we go. Look at that fucking war axe. Holy shit. Gonna go cleave some heads off. Uh, this is our asshole run, which means that all the decisions we make will be for dark side points. We're gonna, mean to, we're gonna be mean to everybody, but Atten, probably, because uh, I like Atten. He's a very handsome man. Uh, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Okay, we already okay, we already spawned there, or I think we already we already checked there. Is there anywhere else to go? That door over there doesn't do anything. Oh, we haven't looked at this computer yet. I got so excited about my war axe. All right, so we can repair. We have repair parts. We have, do we have spikes? We Oh yeah, we have plenty of spikes. Here, let's repair it first. We've rerouted the, the system and accessed what remains of the ship's maintenance and routine capabilities. Open maintenance doors to the ion engines. There we go. Got that. Now what else can I do? Oh, nothing. Okay. Great. Easy. Now, let's see. As always, feel free to uh, share the stream and say hi in the chat. Particularly if you're new here, I would love to know who you are. Not in a creepy way, just in a friendly way. Uh, we do regular live streams. A lot of our live streams are um, like Battlefront 2. And whenever a new game comes out. Ooh, ion control, okay. 
Let's activate the engine maintenance procedure. Um, all right. I guess that entire procedure was just to open one door. Good enough for me. Tell me you're joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. Calm down, Atten. Atten, you, you got to trust me, man. All right, but I know I'm going to regret this. We're probably both going to regret it. I sense you, my master. Faint. Weak. Your senses betray you, as you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited <clears throat> as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing, that is your failing. The failure is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps we shall see. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Kreia. You, uh... You really gave him the business. Wh what's wrong? Are you alright? Damn it, hold on. It's only a little farther. Don't give up on me now. What happened to you? Let's see. I think Kray has been wounded. Huh? How do you know that? The force, man. Look, if she's in pain, then that pain's buying us time we can't afford to waste. Especially if sleeps with vibroblades gets tired of playing <laughs> with her and decides to use us for practice next. That's a good point. What? How did I get light side points from that? Oh, is that T7? Or T3? Droid. Looks like it's been hit with an ion charge and dumped here. Warm up your systems. Let's go. All right. Um, so I always auto level the droids because. Never end up using them very much. Hangar 25, control conduit. Let's recover this. Okay. What can I. There we go. Here we go. Bunch of those. Hit him with a bunch of those. Hit him with a bunch of those. We'll see how it does. I hear you. Oh. Wow. He died very fast. Holy shit. Nice! That's War Axe. That makes me very happy. Time to even the odds. Got a sonic detonator. three to disarm this. There we go. 
what's in here? Let's see. Blaster carbine credits. And then Atten leveled up. Let's take a look at this. All right, computer. Let's see. We have four of these. Demolitions. All right. Let's keep on moving here. I don't think there's anything over here we can... This is probably locks. Oh, maybe not. I hear you. Also, here we go. Can you recover stuff? Nope. So your demolitions has to be just a little bit higher. Time to take you down to size. Let's settle in. Nice. All right. I am really loving this war axe here. Also, give me one second here. My bad. Shut down emergency field. That sounds like we should do that. All right. More droids. We're gonna hit him with the axe. Time to even the odds. Let's settle this. I'll level him up. Let's see what we can pilfer from these dead droids. Mandalorian melee shields. Those are good. Mandalorians make pretty uh pretty good stuff I've I've heard. System log. Within the past day, a series of explosions within the Paragus mining facility has enacted an emergency lockdown. Someone has sliced into the fuel depot computers and created a phantom fuel leak, selling off the area with force fuel to contain the blast. Okay. So, sketchy shit is happening, I think, is the, the, the way to sum that up. is our save. Yeah, there we go. Nothing in there. Nice. 
God, this axe is great. Alright, let's heal. Let's heal a little bit more. There we go. This door is magnetically sealed. I can't believe this. The ship's right out there, and we can't get to it. Oh, okay. Well, then open it. Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? He said he can open the door to the hangar. He just needs to access the hangar terminal up on the platform. How can you even understand that noise? Um... I'll explain it someday when we're not being chased by a hundred or more stealth Seth, uh, Seth Alright, well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop him. Alright then. Okay, emergency control commands. Let's see. Oh, wait. Hold on, I have to access it as T3, I think. Okay. Emergency control commands. Open blast for the hangar 25. The door to the hangar bay where the open hop glides. Let's see, power conduit surgically removed. You cannot slice the terminal or make a workaround for it with parts. You'll need to replace the original conduit in order to reopen it. Oh, we have it. There we go, easy. I hear you. All right. Let's get that to our ship. Time to take you down to size. Oh no! Not the fire! There we go. Oh, uh, I think. Hold on. There we go. Environment underlay. Okay, so we can craft uh, armor out of this. We'll just disable them. The difference between so you can recover them and keep them and reuse them, which is kind of useful. What we don't want to do uh, is run through them like an idiot. Dude, we are wrecking the fuck out of these droids. Let's 
It's not even fair. Time to even the odds. More where that came from. All right. Decontamination room. Looks like there's some gross shit in there. Actually, um, let's have Atten look at this. Just say the word. Oh wait, no, no. Our computer use is pretty high, I think. Okay, repair. That's four repair parts. We have plenty of repair parts. Slice the system. We can do that. Here, let's rewrap this. Tend to shut down decontamination system. Six bikes. There we go. All right, cool. We fixed it. See what's in this metal box here. Not very much at all. Oh, there's our ship. There she is, the beautiful Ebon Hawk. Let's uh make sure we're not missing any goodies here. Droid repulsor. Components, very good. All right. This is the loading ramp of the Ebon Hawk. Once aboard, you'll be leaving the mining facility for good. Good. Because, uh, fuck this mining facility. What's up, James? How's it going? Hello there. Quick, we're gonna need some time to fire up the engines. Let's give the laser turret a workout. Oh, cool. I think we get to do the laser thing. God, there are a lot of them. Oh, that's so loud. We've got company. There we go. We're watching Clone Wars Season 2 on DVD right now. I'm on Gen the Genos Sark. Nice. Um, I've got a buddy. Uh, it has been my, my best friend since like middle school. Who is a uh, 
like a you know a, a Star Wars fan, um, but has never made it through Clone Wars or Rebels before, and he just doesn't realize what he's missing. And I I showed him a couple of episodes the other night from uh from Rebels, like a couple of the really cool ones, um, and hopefully he'll go back and rewatch them. Computer use, persuade. Security, you probably want to put some treat injury in there. And awareness. All right, so we got two weapon fighting. Oh, we should put another weapon on there. When activated, this feat triples the critical threat range of melee attacks. We have been using that attack a whole bunch. Power attack. Let's see, what is this? Melee weapons. What is this, dueling? Remember the season two episode called Children of the Forest where Anakin and Ahsoka go to Mustafar to save crazy younglings. Yeah, that's that's the cool thing I like about watching Clone Wars is that um, there's so there's so much of it that you can go back and watch something and be and be like, oh my gosh, I don't even remember that. Let's see, I think what we want to do here is do our melee weapon proficiency. And, ooh, we can do the second level of our scary power. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Nice, okay, also, we have two weapon fighting, so we can Put something else in here. Let's see. Balance versus two weapon penalty if used in the offhand. So hold on, what do we have before this? We have plus nine. What happens if we put a viper blade in the other hand? We have plus seven and plus five. We'll try that out a little bit. If we don't like it, we can just switch it back. What does this do? Damage immunity, ooh, okay, that sounds pretty good. We'll put that on. Yeah, I'll put some gloves on, that's fine. All right, oh, look at that, holy shit. All right, let's, oh, they're on the, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're using force powers on him. What? Okay, I guess I gotta do that again. Alright. Alright, so we've defeated all the Sith Troopers. Oh, is that it? Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, look, it's Kraya. Good thing you arrived now or we would have left you. I have no intention of being left behind. Now, let us leave. Yeah, okay. Pew, 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 pew. All right. They hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, 
Um, yeah, fire on the asteroids. That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. Um, Yoda is not. Uh, this is this is thousands of years before uh, episode um, episode one, so he he would not be born yet. Yoda wouldn't be anyway. Let's see. Yep, do it. Hold on. This is going to get a little rocky. Well, now that we just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. Hmm, okay. How do we stop them? That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. Oh, well. So what do you think we should do? Look, enough with the we already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. Okay... Any enemy can be fought and killed. You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? If these Sith threaten me, then they die. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. Yeah, she she is a little like Jocastanu. She is, you know, she's an older force wielder. She's way different than Jocastanu, though. She's, uh... Kraya is complex. Let's see... Um, which one of these? Only the Sith will pay the price for crossing me. Ah, like so many Jedi, you hear, but you do not listen. You have much to learn. Much to learn you still have. Why are they looking for me, though? Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. Okay, but I was exiled from the Jedi Order. Exile or not. The Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. Well, give me a fucking lightsaber then. Um, let's see. But the last of the Jedi, that can't be true. The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. Also, James, have you seen the, uh, the uh, Darth Vader comic where Jocastanu fights... Darth Vader, because that's pretty fucking cool. Let's see. What about the Jedi on Dantooine in Coruscant? The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the room of a thousand fountains have fallen still in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall. And the civil war that followed. So, a uh, neat, neat little point of trivia here. The Room of a Thousand Fountains in the Jedi Temple was first introduced as a concept in the young adult uh, novel series called uh, Jedi Apprentice, which happens between, um, or before episode one, uh, and it's about the apprenticeship of Obi-Wan to, uh, to Qui-Gon. It's like a meditation room with... You know, fountains. A thousand of them, apparently. 
Let's see. Then the Jedi are dead, gone, and good riddance. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. All right, what about the Harbinger here? Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. Okay. So, do you want to explain how you tracked me down? You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. How did we get to Paragus? I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to Paragus. Be silent. We're having a conversation here. Whoa, bitch. That's my droid. He says he repaired the ship and he got us to Paragus. Repaired this ship. My eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on. Get. Oh, what's up, Danny? Have fun at work. And I wonder how Jocasta knew... V you know, I don't know. She seemed like she knew shit was going on. You know, she was wise. This all seems like an unusual set of coincidences. True. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. How come I don't remember any of this? Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, okay. don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, Whoa. Uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. I don't know if I care that much. I'm sure she can take care of herself. I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. What are you talking about? Are you blind? If I were her, I'd be screaming like a stuck Minoc. Well, I mean a very strong, manly Minoc. I <laughs> think she's just too proud to show any weakness. Especially in front of you. Well, I am pretty fucking cool, so... Fine, I'll go check on her. Ooh, dark side points. Give me them dark side points. All right, let's go talk to Kraya some more. Let's see what's got her panties up in a twist. Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. Okay, yeah, so when you lost your hand, I felt it as well. That does not surprise me any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. Then consider the pain a lesson. I do not need your condescension nor your lectures. If anyone needs training and guidance, it is you. Uh, I don't know about that. Let's see. So what would have happened if you died? I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. 
like what I have tied. Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. Okay. But at your age, you could die at any moment, especially considering the way you act. If you think a connection <laughs> to one such as yourself gives me any comfort, then you would be wrong. I desire this no more than you do. It seems that at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. Yeah, I've, n I've never heard of this link before. I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong. And its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. You and Kreia possess the force chain special ability. When either of you uses the force power on yourself, the other gains a benefit as well. All right. A powerful technique indeed. Though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. Yeah, okay. Um, tell me more about the Sith that's hunting us. These Sith, they seek the death of all Jedi, as have all the Sith, since the Jedi Order was first split. Yeah, tell me about the Sith being Jedi. Yes, the Jedi Civil War is not the first one of its kind. Thousands of years ago, the Jedi had another Civil War that split the Order. It was a terrible thing. A faction among the Jedi abandoned the teachings of the Order, following their own path. They waged war on their fellow Jedi, a war that raged across the galaxy. But these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they retreated to worlds in the Outer Rim. Over time, they took on the mantle of the Lords of the Sith, but in their hearts they never forgot the Jedi. The hatred for the Jedi Order burns in their veins like fire and echoes in their teachings. Revan tasted it, as Malak did. Yeah, uh, Anakin would have been over her bullshit really fast. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, tell me about this Malak thing a little bit in more. In a manner of speaking, they are different from Malak in that they are concerned only with the destruction of the Jedi. For them, it is all that matters, all that ever mattered. It is a different war these Sith wage, a thing of silence and shadow. They strike from the darkness, hiding from the face of the galaxy until all Jedi are exterminated. After all the Jedi are gone, then the galaxy is theirs, no matter whether the Sith or the Republic rules. It is the dark side that shall reign, unchecked. Okay. Ask, and I will answer. Um, yeah, tell me about when I could use the Force again. Indeed. And was it the same as before? It was like a whisper. If my suspicions are correct, perhaps the damage the Jedi Council did was not as permanent as they thought. It is not an easy thing to cut one off from the Force. What are you, what are you talking about? What did you believe? That you suddenly lost your connection with the Force without reason? Um, but to cut one off from the Force, it's like losing all your senses at once. Indeed it is. It is much like losing one's ability to listen, or being put into a deep sleep, unable to awaken to the galaxy around you. Such a thing has been done before, when Jedi have pronounced sentence on their own and exiled them as they did you. If the Jedi were not already gone and dead, I would have ended their lives for doing this to me. Indeed. It is possible Revenge, that baby. Such a thing can be undone. Still, even so, the chances of the Jedi undoing such a thing for a traitor is a slim thing at best, assuming they yet live. Slim is better than none. Our link may have had other consequences. Perhaps you can hear the Force again, distantly, through me. If so, then there is hope. I may be able to teach you, 
train you to feel the Force again. And if you will not allow me to help you, then other Jedi must train you, or undo the damage they have done. Okay, let's see. You can barely stand. Well, hold on, I am my own master. I have no need of teachers. Life never ceases to teach, fallen Jedi. It is only when one ceases to listen that we grow still and die. I offer to train you to become strong again, to know the ways of the Force, and to hear the Force sing within you as it once did. Okay. Um. I have no use for mentors, but a servant, yes. That is acceptable. Whenever I travel with you, I shall impart what I can to you through my words and presence. There were two Order 66s. There's no Jedi left thousands of years before Episode 1. Well, it, w it wasn't an Order 66 kind of a thing. The the f the So in Legends, the Jedi went through this vicious cycle of power and falling from power over like a whole bunch of times over thousands of years and this in this particular case there was a jedi civil war and the jedi killed each other kind of kind of in the same uh in the same way that the sith kind of killed each other until there were only two of them yeah i need to reflect on this i would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. Hey, you leave uh, Atten alone. He is a fool and an imbecile. His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first and his allies next. <laughs> All right, we got some dark side points. We can go do some dark side things. All right, let's go back, talk to Atten, see how he's doing. What's up, Atten? How's our passenger? She's still aging? Well, she's still a uh, crusty bitch, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, to you, maybe. I don't usually hear much beyond fool and imbecile. She's lucky she's a Jedi, or someone would have killed her years ago. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. <laughs> if she looks good to you, you must have taken a blaster hit when I wasn't looking. <laughs> hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shadda Red Sector right now. After spacing that old witch, of course. Okay, so Atten's horny. That's what we've learned from this. Alright, are we still uh, on our way to Telos? Like we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. Well, if you thought Baragas was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Alright. So, what happened? To what? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Oh, um, my lightsaber was dot 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 taken from me. Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Ooh, we're gonna do double-bladed. Huh. I hear the twin blades are harder to master. But they can make enemies stampede over each other running for cover. A lot of Jedi in the Mandalorian Wars use double-bladed sabers. A more aggressive blade gives you more slaughter per swing. Hey, you didn't go red, did you? Uh, let's see. Both blade and crystal were unique. Yeah, unique how? Violets. Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. 
think having it would just drive them to hunt me harder. Uh, it doesn't matter. It was taken from me a long time ago. All right. Forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Galaxy map. Telos. Let's go. sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion, uh-oh, here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Faragas mining facility. Okay, are we under arrest? You haven't been formally charged, but you will be placed under house arrest pending the results of our investigation. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. Great. Will I be able to get it back? If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? You can't hold me for anything. We're leaving now. Do you understand? Look around you. Even if you manage to overcome all of us, Bay Control could simply open the MagCon field and shoot you into space. So, let's not do this the hard way. I'll go, but one way or another, you'll pay for me. You'll pay me for the trouble. Given your position, it would be a good idea if you took a more accommodating tone. My men will relieve you of your arms and armor. Follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. <laughs> for Adam. Whoa, who is that? Oh my. You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. A force cage? This is ridiculous. As I said, this is only temporary while other arrangements are made. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to bear with us until then. So be it. But I'll remember this. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. How's your hand, Kraya? Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. Um... Let me out of this cage, and we'll see how uh, disappointed you are. Doubtful, though at least it appears you have some spirit. The exchange is a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. Oh, God. The exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work the exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No huh. Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Yeah, why are you here? Like I said, 
The exchange has put out a huge bounty on Jedi. I'm just looking forward to early retirement. How do you expect to get away with this? The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt, during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. Yeah, your body's staying right here. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Oh, I'm hey, use force powers on you. You want to fight? Then try me if you've got the guts. Aww. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. Yeah, we're going to use the force on you. Cameras up. What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed. Uh, oh. Who is that? Is that Batu Ram? No, he was an assassin. It's a good thing I didn't have to depend on you for protection. Or we'll say impressive. You allowed an assassin to infiltrate your ranks. Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. No shit. I'm glad someone noticed that only after he tried to kill me. We've arranged for an apartment in residential module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. The best of your ability? That's not very inspiring. Just, yeah, take me to my fucking room. Officer, let Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? Good idea. Get out. Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. Why do we need to leave? What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragus? That could bring the Sith. You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. Yeah, please, Kraya, tell us what you we think. We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. All right, looks like we're going to rest. All right, phone, phone's ringing. Let's go answer it. Excuse me, you have a caller. Moza, representing the Athorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. All right, let's hear it. Very well, I'll let him in now. Okay. Why didn't your boss come himself? Alright, what, what, what do you what do you want with me?
Sihan Elfa vaan Iino vaan Elfa, Linda Kutta. Sihan Elfa vaan Iino vaan Elfa, Linda Kutta. Vain kun taas, voi Sihan Elfa, Apuilta. Alright, so he wants us to deal with Zerka. Alright, so it might be possible for his boss to heal us, is what he's saying. Perhaps Shodahabad should turn his eyes to his own people, if they truly suffer so. Hey, what's up, Benjamin? Okay, I'll talk to your uh, to your boss when we're freed. All right, we are running a little over time here. Now, perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Yes, perhaps. I think we're gonna save it here because save that. All right, and we're gonna leave that here for today. Uh, I do appreciate everyone uh, coming by and saying hi. Um, we'll be back. We'll be playing some Star Wars games over the next couple of days, probably. Probably not Battlefront because we I've got stuff in the evening. But um, keep your eye on uh, the channel. And uh, 